have you ever posted a link to one of your blog posts or like a page on your website into Facebook and then your old featured image came up in a little preview box? Totally annoying, right? Well, when you change the featured image for a blog post or a page in your website, you have to kind of let Facebook know that you changed that image so that they can show the right one in the preview. So how do you let Facebook know? That's what I'm showing you today in this video. Hey guys, I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com and welcome to another episode of Website Wednesdays where I show you little tips and tricks to help you take advantage of your website and your online presence. So in order to let Facebook know that you have a new image for your blog post or your page, you have to utilize their free debugging tool. It sounds a little techy, but I promise it's easy. So I'm gonna dive right into the screen share and I'm gonna show you how to use the tool. Okay, so if I wanted to share my blog post about which website platform is right for you, in my Facebook group, I copy the URL and create a post and paste the URL in. And you'll notice that Facebook pulls in my old featured image, okay? So I want it to pull in my new Facebook sharing image, which looks like this. So in order to do that, you have to have Facebook re-scrape this URL right here. So there's a pretty easy way to do that. Facebook has a free tool called the Sharing Debugger. So basically in this box right here, you paste in the URL and you click debug and you'll notice that Facebook pulls up your old sharing image. So in order to get your new one, you have to click this scrape again. So Facebook will go back to your blog post and re-scrape that URL to pull in the new image that you want to show. Now, usually it doesn't populate the image the first time you hit scrape again. So don't freak out. Just click it a second time. And the second time is usually when it pulls it through. Um, you might have to hit it three or four times. Sometimes it gets a little funny. Once you see it populate the image that you want it to show, you're basically all set. So now if we go back and close that out and refresh the page and paste in that URL again, it's going to fetch the preview and bam, your new image pops up in the Facebook preview. So I'll post the URL for the Facebook debugger tool right in the description below. Or you can go to Google and literally type in Facebook debugger and that will lead you to a link that'll take you right to this tool. So there you have it. A quick run through of Facebook's free debugger tool to help you correlate your new blog post image with Facebook so that everything's consistent. If you'd like to see more videos like this, go ahead and make sure that you're hitting that subscribe button and then give this video just a quick thumbs up so I know that you found it helpful.